Hi guys, in this video we'll look at uh, two sum problem. So let's see what the problem is. So we're given an array of integers, and in that we need to find indices of two number such that they add up to a specific target. So let's see what the assumptions that we can take. So there's one only one possible solution, and we cannot use the same element twice. So let's see the examples. So Let's say if our array is 1, 2, 5, 13 and the target that we are given is 7. So we know that 2 plus 5 is 7. So we need to return indices 1 and 2 because 2 is at index 1 and 5 is at index 2. Uh, let's look at one more example. So we're given an array 1, 6, 12, 13, 3, 8, 15, 16 and our target is 20. So we know that 12 plus 8 is equal to 20 and the indices that we need to return are 2 and 5. So that's the problem. Uh, so let's go to the whiteboard. Uh, let's look at different approaches and then we'll come back and look at the final code. Okay. So in order to understand how to solve this two sum problem, we'll take this array which is 1, 3, 6, 8, 12, 13, 15, 16 and we'll tar take target as 20 and then we'll see how we have different approaches to solve this problem and how each approach fares against each other in time complexity and space complexity wise. So the different approaches that we are going to take a look at are brute force algorithm, binary search, two pointer and the last one is map and dictionary. Okay, so in brute force, uh, it's a straightforward approach. What we'll do is we'll take one number and we'll compare it with rest of the numbers or we'll add it with rest of the numbers and we'll see if the target is 20 or not. So we'll take one and then add with three, check if it's 20 or not, one add with six, check if it's 20 or not and similarly one plus eight, one plus 12, one plus 13 and keep going. And if we don't find it then move on to next number three Again, check with the rest of the numbers, 3 plus 6, 3 plus 8, 3 plus 12, and keep going. Uh, if we don't find 20, move to next number and keep on doing. So the code for this brute force is also straightforward. We'll just run a for loop i of i equal to 0 to num's length, and then j equal to i plus 1, which is whatever the outer loop is, inner loop starts from the next number. And then we'll add two numbers, nums of i plus nums of j. If it's target, then we return those two indices. So straightforward algorithm. And since we are running two loops for till nums of length, the time complexity of this algorithm would be O of n square. Okay. okay. So next approach that uh, we'll take a look at would be binary search. So in binary search approach, what we'll do is Again, we'll pick one number, which is let's say one, and then we'll see how much do we need to make it to target 20. So we say we need 19. If 19 was there, we can do one plus 19 equal to 20. So what we'll do is, since this array is sorted, what we can do is we can look up 19 in binary search way. So simple binary search, look in the middle, compare with the number. If it's the number that we're looking are greater than look in the right side of the array. If the number is smaller that we're looking for, then look in the left part of the array. So uh, the advantage is we are not scanning the whole array. We're just looking at particular elements and then we are deciding the half of the array. So the algorithm would be again straightforward. Uh, we run a loop for of i of zero to nums length. And then what we do is we calculate the required value, which target minus nums of i. So 20 minus one which will be one. And then let's assume there is some binary search method which is doing this. Uh, we'll not go into details. So just assume this binary search returns the index of that number if it finds it. If it doesn't find it, it returns minus one. So we pass the array. We say start looking from the next number and till the complete array and look for this required number. And if it finds the number, then j is not minus one and then we simply return those two indexes. So again, simple approach, simple algorithm. And since we are doing binary search, 
and the time complexity of binary search is log n. Like uh, if I have eight elements in array to search an uh, element in binary search way, I'll take four lookups or four comparison to tell you whether that number is there or not. If there are 16 numbers, then there'll be five lookups or search. If there are 32 numbers, there'll be six lookup search. So uh, it's not linear, it's logarithmic. So, uh, so the time complexity for binary search algorithm would be n log n. Okay. Okay. So the next approach that we'll look at would be two pointer algorithm. So uh, this is really good approach uh, because we'll be using this in a uh, lot of other problems as well. So let's see how this works. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have two pointers in this array called left and right. So left will start with the zeroth index and right will start with the last uh, number. And what we'll do is we'll add up the two numbers at those pointers and we'll check if the target is 20 or not. So 16 plus one, which is 17, so it's not 20. So it's less than 20. And since this array is sorted, so what we'll do is if the target or if the sum is less than 20, we keep moving left to the right so that we get bigger numbers. But if the sum goes more than target, we'll move right to the left so that we get smaller sums. Okay, so let's say one plus 16, which is 17, so less than 20. So we'll move left to three. 16 plus three, 19, which is still less than 20. So we'll move left to six. 16 plus six, 22, which is more than 20. So now we move the right pointer. 16 plus five, still greater than 21. So we move the right pointer. 13 plus 6, 19, less than 20, so we move the left pointer. 13 plus 8, 21, greater than 20, so we move the right pointer. And while we keep doing that, eventually we'll get our two numbers whose sum is 20. So left and right point to 8 and 12, and that's the sum required. So again, the code or algorithm is simple. We start with L is 0, R is number length minus one, which is the last number. Keep doing that while left is less than right. Sum the two numbers. If sum is less than target, then L plus plus move left to right. If sum is greater than target, R or right minus minus. And if sum is equal to target, then you just return the values. So that simple algorithm. Uh, however, since we are doing this linearly, like if you count the iterations, there'll be like eight iterations. L plus plus would be like L would be four times and R would be four times. So we're going linearly. So the time complexity of this problem, sorry, time complexity of this problem would be O of N. So if you look at the time complexity, two point algorithm is better than brute force and binary search. However, if you notice to solve these two problems, uh, we need the array to be sorted. So now in the next approach, we'll see an interesting part where if the array is not sorted, then how do you solve the same problem? Okay, so now uh, let's see if this, uh, what happens when this array is not sorted. So it's the same array or same numbers, but in unsorted manner or random manner. So now we cannot def we cannot apply binary search or two pointer because they need array to be sorted, and we can definitely apply brute force, uh, but we know that's a slow process. So for like large arrays, so what we'll do is we'll look at the data structure called map or dictionary, and we'll see how we can use that to solve the problem. So what we'll do is when we'll start with a number, and whenever we come to a number, we'll see what is the required number to make to target or what is the complement of that number for the target and we'll add it to dictionary and as and when we keep moving for each number we'll look up in the dictionary and we'll see if anybody needs that number or is it anybody's complement so let's see how it works basically uh, so when we say one we'll 
say the complement needed is 19 and we'll look up in the dictionary is that 19 obviously it's the first element there's no so we'll add 19 in the dictionary and we'll say number at zeroth index is looking for you and we go on so we add, look at we come at 6 the complement is 14 and we say index as 1 we come to 12 we add 8 index is 2 we come to 13 we add 7 index 3 we come to 3 uh, we add 17 and index 4 and now when we come to 8 we'll do the our check of looking up at the dictionary and we'll see yes 8 is there and number at index 2 is looking for 8 so we'll say okay number at 2 that's 12 so 8 plus 12 is equal to 20 that's our target and our indices are this and this so 2 and 5 are the indices that we are looking for so that's our uh, dictionary map approach to solve to some problem for an unsorted array and the time complexity of this problem would be a of n but there is a space complexity as well since we are using dictionary so the space complexity for this problem or for the dictionary would be o of n since in worst case we would end up storing all the numbers in the dictionary okay so that's the approach and now we'll actually code this approach and we'll submit it and see what happens okay so this is our uh, final code uh, I have uh, the same array that we just discussed on the whiteboard and then we're calling to sum on that array with target as 20 and in this to sum method uh, we are looping through the array and then we are checking if the number is there in the map or not if uh, the number is found in map then we return both the indices if number is not there in the map then we calculate the complement and then we put the complement in the dictionary along with the index of that number so uh, pretty easy and straightforward uh, code so let's run it and uh, I've put a print statement to see what happening so uh, as we expect when we are at number one we add 19 at index 0 when we are at number 6 we add 14 at index 1 and likewise when we come at 12 we add uh, 8 at index 2 and 13 and then 3 and then next number is uh, 8 so when we loop through 8 we find that 8 in dictionary and then we return indices 2 and 5 so that's the whole uh, flow of the code so there you go uh, if you guys like the video if you guys learned something new give me thumbs up uh, any feedback any suggestion let me know in comments and then subscribe for more videos